This is Godiva. And sometime this week, in the next four or five days, she will be having puppies. Godiva's favorite position lately happens to be this one. She wants to show off her beautiful belly. We know from an x-ray that it is likely that Godiva is having two puppies. My veterinarian says there might be a third one in there hiding behind those two. Godiva is so funny. She's been carrying around a little toy for hours and days now. She's just getting ready for her puppies to come, so it seems just normal to her that she would have a little puppy in her mouth and be carrying it around. Godiva, let's weigh you. What do you weigh today? Hmm? 8.4 pounds. Godiva normally weighs seven and a half pounds. So that means that she has gained about one pound. My guess is that her puppies are going to weigh between three and five ounces when they're born. While all the other dogs are playing, Godiva is sitting right here next to me and she keeps just smiling so cutely at me. Hey, Godiva, would you show? Now, of course I get on to the camera and then she stops doing it. There you go. She's smiling at me. And you're coming to say hello too, huh? For most of the day today, Godiva has been on her own with me, apart from the other dogs. But a few minutes ago, I decided to feed everybody dinner, and so I've brought them all up together. Throughout the day today, Godiva has been only a few feet from me most of the day. And we've had the other dogs in another part of the house, so that she's been just with me instead of with the other dogs. And a few moments ago, I decided to feed everybody some dinner. I brought them all upstairs where I typically feed breakfast and dinner. And today they are having some ground hamburger meat. They're having some apples and a little bit of sweet potato. And I thought I would see if Godiva would want to eat with them. And she's had a few bites of dinner, which tells me that she is not likely having her puppies in the next couple of hours, even though her temperature has dropped a degree. It's down to 99 degrees now, which means that she is likely having her puppies within the next 24 hours. But because she's still eating, my suspicion is it's not going to be in the next few hours. So I can have dinner too. Yeah. Having puppies is a lesson in patience because sometimes I think, ah, we're there. We're just about to start where she's going into labor. And then it doesn't happen. And you can see right now she's licking herself. And that would be one of those signs that she thinks we're getting close. But then she seems to back off. I am always amazed with first time mom dogs at how incredible their instincts are. They know what to do. They know how to handle things, but I suspect the first uh, couple days, perhaps, before they have their puppies, they are wondering themselves, what is going on with my body? Why am I having these contractions? Hmm, what's happening? I've taken Godiva's temperature regularly here. Godiva, what do you think of me taking your temperature? Not exactly the most fun thing to do, is it? The reason I take the temperature is because there's a, a philosophy or a belief among dog breeders that there will be a drop to 99 degrees uh, within uh, an hour or excuse me, within a day or so of um, a mom dog having puppies. That does not work for me. More than 24 hours ago, Godiva's temperature dropped to 99 degrees. And I have been taking her temperature regularly. This morning it went back up into the over 100 range. And now, as I'm taking it again, it's 99. I'm sharing this because sometimes some of the ways of telling that a mom dog is about to go into labor work well with one breed or one type of dog and not with another. And so you really have to learn from life experience. The Taking the thermometer temperature um, with my dogs and my breed just has not worked for me as an indicator that 
It is about the time. And what I have discovered is that sometimes mom dogs need more calcium in order to have enough uh, calcium to calcium in their blood to trigger the contractions. Today is Godiva's official due date. Traditional thinking is that puppies are born 63 days from ovulation. And so that could be anywhere from 58, 59 something days all the way to uh, well past day 63. One of the things about having a hobby of dog breeding is that it definitely helps to develop patience. <laughs> so I am not in control of when she has her puppies. I am not in control of how many puppies she has or what color they are. And so the serendipity, the spontaneity of life's adventure is definitely here for me in my hobby of dog breeding. I'm sharing this in part because I've set up several areas to help Godiva feel comfortable when she's ready and she'll get to choose where she wants to start her labor experience. So I'm sitting in my own office right now and she is with me just all the time. But occasionally she will go crawl behind here. I've also set up other little areas for her. So I keep this dark in here and I typically keep this closet door cracked like that so that she can get in there if she wants to. A couple of times she's gone in there. So this is just a hall closet that I have. I'll turn the light on now, but I tend to keep the lights off. And uh, I have extra potty pads, disposable potty pads right here, a little blanket there, and then it's just buffered by our extra sets of toilet paper. In this same closet, you can see that we also store our paper towels and all sorts of things, but this is just a hall closet in our master bedroom suite area. By keeping it dark and by keeping the door closed a little bit, that just invites her in. Another space that I have for her, I'm not sure you all have ever been in my own closet, but uh, this is my clothing closet. And as you can see, I have it very dark at the moment, but over here in this corner, I have a blanket as well as some of my own uh, t-shirts that she could go burrow in as a way to start when she's ready to do Perhaps so. Perhaps you're wondering, hey, wait a minute, Godiva lives in a guardian home. Is it that she's uncomfortable in your house? And the answer to that is absolutely no, and I'll explain why. Godiva was born here. Godiva lived the first several months of her life here. She went through our puppy prep school training program, and I see Godiva regularly. So Godiva lives in a guardian home where we are very good friends, and we engage and interact and visit, socialize a lot together. So Godiva thinks me of me as her mom, but she also thinks of Kim as her mom. And um, it's very clear that Godiva is super comfortable with me and with being here. She was literally born in this room where we are right now. And so she thinks of this as home too. She spends a lot of time sleeping. Sometimes she goes into panting, a little bit labored breathing. About 24 hours or so before puppies are going to arrive, you'll notice that mom has sometimes little drops of, this is colostrum, most people are gonna call it milk, that um, will come out. Godiva definitely has that. Her milk or colostrum has come in and is ready for new puppies. Godiva is just constantly licking herself right now and this is very normal in labor when a puppy is about to arrive. Just licking, licking, licking. And as you've heard me say before, I'm gonna let her have her first puppy or at least get close to having her first puppy wherever she wants to. She happens to be sitting on the sofa 
right now with me and Arlene as we are watching a movie together. Godiva. Godiva. While all the other dogs are playing, Godiva is sitting right here next to me and she keeps just smiling so cutely at me. Hey, Godiva, would you show? Now, of course I get on to the camera and then she stops doing it. There you go. She's smiling at me. And you're coming to say hello too, huh? Godiva was bred for the first time on Thursday, February 1st. She was bred the second time on Sunday, February 4th. At the time that she was bred, we did not use progesterone testing to determine if she was ovulating at that time. My experience is that male dogs don't want to mate unless the female is ovulating. But I also have another thing about that and it goes like this. Jim and I have, eh, I'll say, drawn the line for ourselves. We don't particularly want to be drawing blood. We don't really want to do things that require needles. And so since this is a hobby for us, it's our preference to let mom and dad dogs breed on the days that they want to. I prefer to breed a dog two, maybe three times when she is ready and willing to do so. And that's what we did with Godiva. Female dogs have their puppies 63 days after ovulation. And because we did not do the blood testing at the time that we did the breeding, we don't know exactly when she was ovulating. But what we do is we calculate that approximately nine weeks after there is a breeding, a tie, that's when puppies will come. And so we identify in our calendars a range, a period of days during which we know to keep a very close eye on the potential mom dog. And in this case, we had identified Godiva's due date as April 4th to today, Sunday, April 7th. But you will notice Godiva has not had her puppies yet. Yeah, you haven't had your puppies yet. And so this afternoon, Sunday afternoon, I am taking her in to Quakertown Vet Hospital and they are going to draw some blood to determine several things. One, we'll look at her progesterone numbers to see if it looks like her body is ready to go into labor. But we'll also draw the blood sample for calcium to find out if she has enough calcium in her body to give her the oomph to have the contractions that she needs in order to deliver her puppies. If her calcium number is too low, we will then likely do a cesarean section. You might wonder why I'm sharing this with you. Godiva says, hey, mom, why are you sharing this with everybody? Because it's very important to recognize as a breeder, there is a window, potentially a week, where you pretty much have to put your life on hold to be available so that if mom dog goes into labor, you can deliver, help her, with those puppies. But you've also got to pay attention because if mom dog goes beyond that point, you've got to be able to take her in to have the right test done and potentially be ready for both the uh, challenges of and the expenses of a cesarean section. For several days now, I've thought that Godiva was about to go into labor. She's been nesting. She's been taking herself uh, alone into the closet. She's been, uh, all, the, all the things that would indicate that she's getting very close to having her puppies. But she just hasn't had that kick into actual labor where she is uh, panting and such. And as you can tell from looking at her, she's not in pain. She's not struggling. She regularly brings me a toy and asks me to play fetch with her. She just wants lots of belly rubs. Godiva is content. So again, she's not in pain. She does not have a temperature. There is nothing that 
appears to be wrong is just her body has not kick-started the labor process yet. And that could be for a couple of reasons. Her body just wasn't ready, not ready yet. Uh, it takes, or, or sperm can live in the female body for up to five days, is my understanding. If any of you are watching and you know something different to that, please comment and say so. But if sperm can live in the female body for up to five days, and we bred her on Sunday, the, what that means is that it could actually be another five days from now before she's really ready to have her puppies. And so my calculation of when I think she's ready, you know what they say, this is teaching patience. Yes, it is. But we're, we'll be learning quite a bit this afternoon when we take her into Quakertown Vet Hospital to have a blood draw and find out what the results are. And moments after I just did that video, she picks up her little toy that she likes so much and wants me to throw it for her. She wants to play a game of fetch. So again, you can see she's quite happy to play. Her tail is wagging. She's feeling good. You feeling good? You're even smiling, aren't you, Godiva? Yes. Would you like me to throw it for you again? It's Sunday afternoon, about 2.30, and Godiva and I are on our way to take her to the vet to get her blood work done. It's a beautiful, sunny spring day here, and since we are driving to the veterinarian's office, I also have with me my whelping supplies because I've delivered more than one puppy in the car on the way to the vet with mom in this situation. So I'm prepared, Godiva, if you start to go into labor, we're just going to pull right over. And we've got everything we need that we can get in the back seat of the car and do this together. We've arrived at Quakertown Vet Hospital and I have learned to bring my whelping supplies inside because again, sometimes my mom dogs have gone into labor while we've been here waiting and I need my own supplies in those This times. is what it looks like as we are getting ready to go in. So I'm carrying a blanket. I'm carrying some of my supplies. I've got her in the stroller. There's a lot going on in here at the moment as we are waiting. Godiva and I can tell you that one of the places that you don't want to be on a Sunday afternoon is sitting in the waiting room at the emergency vet hospital. Why do I say it that way? Well, we saw a lot of things we really didn't want to see today, didn't we, Miss Godiva? And uh, even though I haven't gotten her blood test results back yet from Quakertown Vet Hospital, we decided to just go ahead and leave so that we didn't have to sit there in the energy of that um, just the chaotic, right, in an emergency room where you're seeing things you don't want to see. And so I'm awaiting now the call for them to tell me what her progesterone level and her calcium level are, and then we'll be able to determine what next steps we take. These beautiful daffodils and this gorgeous yellow forsythia out the window. The trees are starting to bud and you can see the buds. I'm going very slowly. Trees are starting to bud and it is just spring everywhere. Look at those trees. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. And the fields of little yellow dandelions. I just got off the phone with the veterinarian who looked at Godiva's blood work and they said that her blood calcium level looks great. She will be able to deliver on her own. Yay, that's great news. And then they also said that her progesterone number is at a five currently, and we would not think about doing a C-section until it were at a two. So in other words, she will probably be going into labor very soon. And 
I thought she and I would enjoy just coming out here and sitting on the patio for a few minutes, enjoying some sunshine. And surely enough, she's out here with me, poking around, looking at things. Hi, Godiva. Yeah. Godiva, it's been several days since we weighed you last. We keep thinking you're going to be having your puppies sometime soon. Maybe today will be the day. But what do you weigh now? How much have you gained since the last time we weighed you? Let's check that out. Today on the scale, Godiva weighs eight pounds. It keeps bouncing between eight pounds, seven ounces, and eight pounds, eight ounces. Godiva has begun panting, and there is some jelly-like fluid that is just starting to come from her vulva. Those are great signs. I've also decided, given the current reality at my house, that my preference would be to have her whelp the puppies here on the top of my bed. So I have covered the top of my bed in waterproof and then layers, and I've got towels, I've got everything I need here. I moved the comforter off of my bed, the pillows off of my bed, so that she's not in that. But I've also got several other areas here in my closet, dark in there. She can go in there and dig in that area when she wants to. So I've got several options set up here for Miss Godiva if things start progressing here shortly. When I say there's a jelly-like substance coming from her vulva, this would be the lubrication, if you will, her natural lubrication that helps her to have the puppies pass through her. And even though it is a very warm day here today, I do have the heating pad under this, which will be turned on immediately on full blast to get that very warm. And I have a, a thermometer, which will tell me the temperature for the puppies. I take Godiva's temperature regularly, and you can see right now it's showing up at 98.4. It's early morning on April 10th, 2024, and I have decided that if Godiva doesn't have her puppies in the next several hours, if she doesn't go into active labor, I'm taking her back into Quakertown and uh, going to be exploring the possibilities of a C-section. Today is day 66 from her last tie. This is day 69 from her first tie. And it is significantly later than I expected her to have her puppies. Godiva and I are back at Quakertown Vet Hospital to have her progesterone tested again. And we've just met a new little boy named Tilly. Hi, Tilly. Tilly yeah. is adorable. What fun to meet Tilly. So there's a lot going on here at Quakertown and we're just patiently waiting for our next progesterone test. Godiva is being a real trooper. We have been here at Quakertown Vet Hospital for over two hours now and her blood work was drawn some time ago, but we haven't heard the results yet. But isn't she doing a great job of just being a very calm little girl? You are a good diva. Very sweetie pie. Good diva, would you like to get up? You want to get up? So with Godiva right now, we can see that there are two puppies. Oh, I can see their skulls really nicely right yep. there, right? And apparently neither one of them are anywhere near the pelvic area such that um, she's not pushing. She's not acting like she's ready to have them, but her progesterone is at a 0.8. And so it seems like the right thing to do, I guess, is a C-section. Yeah, they're less than two. Yep. I've just gotten back into my own car after learning that Godiva will be having a C-section. And um, they give me this estimate that shows me what they think the cost for the C-section will be. And it will probably be about two hours before they're able to fit her into the schedule. 
and then they will call me to tell me to come and get her and the puppies. We are at Quakertown Vet Hospital to pick up Godiva and her two puppies after the C-section. And I am just struck at how beautiful these blooming trees are right outside the Quakertown Vet Hospital. Normally when I'm here, it's daytime and you can see what it's like in the well, dark. Thank you so now. much for helping when I called a little while ago and right. asked for an update on how Godiva and her puppies are doing. Really appreciate that. Of course, of course. Thank you. Shania just went over these discharge instructions for Godiva and you can see the kinds of things that we will need to do with her over the next two weeks while she's healing from her incision. And here's Miss Godiva having just had a C-section today with her two puppies. Can you believe their color? Oh my goodness, what a surprise! Because she had the potential to have a black and silver or a liver and tan puppy. But of course, being bred to Maui, look at this. So one is a girl and one is a boy. This one that I'm holding right now, the lighter colored one is a girl and this is a boy. And we would say that they are both Wheaton colored schnauzers. Hi, Godiva, are you smiling at me, you cutie pie? The boy has been latched on pretty much the whole time. But getting this little girl to latch on has been an, a bit of a tricky effort for me. So I just will continue to be here for the next several hours helping her figure it out. But her brother here is just a little Mr. Latch On Pro already. And Godiva, you're doing such a good job. Yes. This is what a newborn puppy looks and sounds like. Tiny. And look at this adorable little boy. Look at that coloring. And now we're all going to say goodnight. These little puppies born on April 10th, 2024 are doing very well. Only after a couple hours of being born. Good night.